Hi everybody! One of the main uh, reasons we decided to go with, with such a complex audio sounds and bus system is the need to work in a clean and organized way with audio effects. We have three main types of audio effects, each of them related to one of the three main principles of sound. Dynamic effects related to amplitude, so compressors, limiters, expanders, um, noise gates. In the next category we find the delay effects related to the propagation principles of sound, so reverbs, um, delays, uh, uh, phasers, flangers, um, choruses. And the third category, filter effects related to frequency, high pass filter, uh, low pass filter, band pass filter, parametric EQ, graphic EQ. And we'll speak in detail about each one of them, but what I'm interested in now um, is a general overview. In our DAW, as for the mixer, the basic assumption is to work from top to bottom. The DAW, in fact, processes a single effect at a time starting from the first at the top and finished, um, finishing at the last one at the bottom. We have to be careful when it comes to placing our effects. Um, if for example, we place a compressor right after the delay, we'd compress the delay too. Uh, if instead we invert the order, placing a compressor and only then a delay, we would compress only the starting signal and not the delay especially when it comes to delay and reverb. We have to treat them with a different politic. We can place them on a single track where uh, they are needed, but it's really common to use them uh, on an, an independent track and later uh, direct all sense of uh, multiple tracks uh, towards it. 